back of the Central in Worcester, Massachusetts, continuing qualifying for the four-car camel shootout in supermodified mud racing. But the most incredible aspect of this event so far is the fact that it is now already the quickest field in history. It takes a run of 1.779 seconds just to qualify. The first machine up, a supercharged Chevrolet power plant in a Ford Bronco body. The total obsession machine on the brakes hard. 2.01 seconds will not qualify. That'll bring up Tony Ferrodi out of Detroit, Michigan. The supercharged Chevy T Roadster called Left Boogie. We've seen Ferrodi pick up a victory so far this year on Super Track. He is a threat for the Camel World Championship in 1991. Staged and ready. by a matter of two feet. And as you can see, these drivers are facing a piece of heavy equipment right past that DQ line. It's mighty touchy down there. Here's the supercharged small block Chevy car machine of the Sturkin brothers out of Holland, Michigan. On the brake hard, the lap time for Sturkin, 1.80 seconds, just misses qualifying. Here's Todd Marion's gorgeous new carbureted nitrous injected GCJ funny car called Expect No Mercy. He's no newcomer to this business. Shutting off the engine early. A 1.88 second run, and Todd Marion knows he is a tenth of a second off the pace needed to qualify. Here's Rich Marzini out of New Jersey. The naturally wired, nitrous-injected, big-block Chevrolet group has had a banner season in 1991, but it would still take a career best for him to break into this field and run quicker than 1.779 seconds that it now takes. shuts down early and that may have been his undoing 1.94 seconds is one of the quickest passes he's ever made but it won't be enough to get in here's one of the campaigners who finished in the top 10 in the camel series last year this is iowa's byron pinky the supercharged fuel injected chevy powered 1932 chevy group called bad habits stages up Shuts the engine down before the finish line in hopes that he can stop it in time. The last time, 193, and it won't get in the field. This time around, Melvin Brown's radical supercharged Chevy powered rear engine drank to Blue Ohio called Red Heat. It would take nearly a career best for this man to qualify for the program. And keep in mind that Melvin Brown is the only active driver on the tour that drives not one, but two cars in each U.S. Hobbit Association Camel event. The ground crew connecting the kill switch that will automatically shut the engine down at the finish line. Look at the intensity on Melvin Brown's face as he moves up to stage this car the starting line. Backing up and electing to restage the machine. Now leaving the line. Hard on the brakes. He's going fast. Absolutely incredible. Melvin Brown gets a disqualification but stops the car in the only opening in the shutdown area. Ladies and gentlemen, come over here a minute, Melvin. Melvin, I got to tell you, it's obviously a DQ. The last time, the quickest of your life, 1.768 seconds. It would have got you in, but how you pulled that off, I will never know. You got to look for a small hole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got to look for a real small hole. That's absolutely astounding. I'm almost inclined to believe you had your eyes closed during that whole thing. No, I can see. You must have, guy. Unbelievable driving job. Ladies and gentlemen, you won't ever see that anywhere ever again. One of the most astounding driving jobs we have ever witnessed. The opening was literally only as wide as the car, but missing the front loader heavy equipment, he stuffs it into its own private parking spot and comes out of that uninjured. Next up will be Paul Schaefer, the man who now drives the car that took Tom Martin to three consecutive world championships and now is part of Martin's team. The Mud Patrol nitrous injected big block Chevrolet again would have to run a career best. 
this one, Schaefer has ever made. He stops it in time. The elapsed time, 1.89 seconds, however, will not help him. And right back on the starting line is Melvin Brown in his other machine. You saw the rear engine red heat right there. Here's the nitrous injected front engine, Blue Max Jeep Funny Car of Melvin Brown from Ohio. One has to wonder if Melvin isn't a little gun shy after that unbelievable episode. And you bet, Melvin's going to shut it down and just leave Worcester, Massachusetts in one piece. The elapsed time for the Blue Max, 1.98 seconds, but here are the four drivers who have survived qualifying. Tom Martin, Jeff Acker, David Ray, and Mark Watros. But who can forget the ride that Melvin Brown took? Can the action get any wilder? Hey, this is the first time I've ever been in this. It's fantastic. I mean, these cars are so damn powerful. And the hood flying all over the place. And it's just a lot going on here. How does everybody want to come out for this stuff?